the guy that calls himself T TBE the best ever, he said that Ryan Garcia was one of the three faces. So we can't, we, we definitely can't get Canelo and um, Tank Davis is running from us. So the left, the next person on the list was Ryan Garcia. Skill Ryan Garcia, 15 time amateur champion, a, a fighter with uh, the power that's we call it a good night. I win. Um, so, the fighter that I'm preparing for is uh, you know, it's different. You see the skater Ryan Garcia, speaking to us, get a lawyer, he's at the moment. What happened built patience up on the top of the Empire State Building for them, basically, as Roy getting underneath Devin's skin just before top. Well, I mean, of course, if you slap the shit out of anybody, it's going to scare the shit out of them and they're going to become dangerous. So I mean, if that, if you mean by that, Ryan now is even more dangerous fighter. He's a scared fighter. And um, whatever, the, whatever on April the 20th, whichever fighter comes, whether he's he or if it's she, um, Devin is going to deal with him, dismantle him, and make an end to Ryan Garcia. Just one more from me, man. So Herb and Davies and Lee Wiley are still very much involved with Devin, even if they're not here. What type of involvement have I had for this camp? Always shout out to Ben Davidson and, and, and uh, Lee. I mean, who, who always are, are very much inspirational, um, you know, I mean, and strategic with us. So we share information, uh, and that's between us. But, you know, thank you to them always. Phil, Phil. Yeah. Does it show how much professional Devin is that, you know, he's not really too worried about whatever's going on with Ryan Garcia or whatever his mental state. He's fully focused on, um, on Saturday night. I mean, this whole circus here is where Devin, you know, he grew up in this. Um, this is what makes Devin who he is, Devin the dream. Um, you know, he's built for this kind of shit. So um, what you see, other fighters, they fall apart, they create other narratives, um, you know what I mean? But this is home for him. And and, and it's all about the build up. Hey, you can see, you can see, King. It's all about the build up for the event on April the 20th. And that's what you see, a focus and healthy Devin. With them being so familiar to each other in the amateurs, I know amateurs are most different from when they were younger, it's much different, but is there sort of some positive that I suppose you can take? Maybe Devin may have some similarities of what you've seen with Garcia before in the amateurs? I don't know, which whatever he, that he brings to the table. For all the disrespect that, that Ryan Garcia and his team have shown, um, you know, it's um it's it, it's gonna be bad for him. I, I've told everyone, I said, listen, put your kids to bed or advise them properly because you're going to witness something that doesn't normally happen in boxing. You're going to see that a man is being sent in to hurt another man. And that's what we're going to see that's going to happen. Uh, Ryan Garcia compared to the top dogs at 140, Matias, uh, Teofimo Lopez, and the other guys at 140. Where do you rank Ryan amongst those guys? I mean, I rank him like I rank all the rest of them that stay busy fights in Devin's quest to the Mount Rushmore boxing. I mean, we got to go through it to get to it. And it don't matter who it is. I mean, we look at them all the same. You know what I mean? At the end of the night, Devin is going to handicap and beat them and, 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 you know, make for a great performance. You know, some going to come forward, some going to back up. You know what I mean? But they all going down. Phil, that's Does it a impact your uh, preparation at all when you're getting ready for someone who seems to be showing some erratic behavior before the fight? Or just, is that like... Does concern you at all? I mean, of course. I mean, it, it, it changed the game plan. I mean, at first, we, you know, I wanted Devin to go beat him. Now I want him to go kill him. Is that, you know, is that cool with you? Yeah, well, that's what he's going to go do. That's what I told him to go do. Do everything in his power to kill him for all the disrespect that he do. That's what happens. And in New York, ain't no better place than to do it and get away with it. A legal homicide for that suicide that he didn't done. Do you think it's actually Stephen, Stephen A. Smith questioned why Ryan Garcia is the right fight at the right time. Why would you say this is the right time to face Ryan Garcia? Well, because, I mean, the guy that calls himself T TBE, the best ever, he said that Ryan Garcia was one of the three faces. So we can't, we, we definitely can't get Canelo and um, Tank Davis is running from us. So the left, the next person on the list was Ryan Garcia. So we're going to chop his head off and then we're going to look for Tank. Uh, or says, no, I mean, we're going to wait on Tank. Was a, because you, you can't look for Tank, I think that's what they said, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. You can't look for him, it's just... You have to... Yeah, okay. There, there, was, there was a video you know, going round of... I'll still be one of the top promoters right now, because you're you probably for more than having for this moment. No, I mean, I, I, the hat going to get bigger as the fight get, the fighter gets bigger. I got the best fighter in the world, so I mean, you know, I mean, my voice is a lot louder than it used to be. You know, we rocking with you. That's right, King, I appreciate you. Do you feel that vibe on this is late? Huh? I said, is there a fight I mean, that just means his fat ass is going to get beat up even more. Bill, I got one for you. Uh, three three in your last six with Ryan. I mean, if you win this fight, is he in the back of your mirror for the rest Well, this is the one to count. This is what we want to put him in the back, in the rear view mirror. But not just us, but for boxing in general. Put him way back there. And a dominant performance. I mean, you know, 
with the way that we plan on doing it, um, you know, it's going to secure what, what, what we want. You, know, you, would always, you would always make sure that your, your son is the number one priority. Do you look at, kind of a hard question, but do you kind of look at the, the mother or father of, um, of Ryan Garcia and saying, you know, they're, maybe they're not putting his weapon into their heart because, you know, the, you know, the answer to yeah. the drinking, whether we see Well, they did, they, did, they did the best job that they could. I mean, but this is an elite. Now, on the elite level, you know what I mean? You got to be well prepared and your team got to tell you the truth. And that's the one thing about a dad and a mom is that they're going to tell they're going to tell them the truth. If they're the most responsible mothers and fathers like they should be, is to be open and honest with him. And that's what I get, you know, that's what Devin gets from me. I don't know if I... I've got some fans. There's a video of Ryan uh, going around of him partying, uh, I think Monday night, of him partying in New York. Did you see it and what did you make of that? Yeah, I've seen it, but... It's not for me to pay attention to. At the end of the day, my main focus is preparing, um, you know, staying focused on, on, on the task ahead. No matter what he does, if he's partying, if he's not partying, we don't know. We don't know if it's real or if it's fake. But my main focus is to not focus on that and focus on the fight and be the best me that I can be. What will Tank Davis be saying after Saturday night watching your performance? I don't know. I, I could care less what he says. Devin, how much did it show for yourself that you are a true professional, no matter what sort of mental game that he tries to play, you just stay focused on yourself? I mean, that's what I am. I am a true professional, professional at the end of the day. This is my job. This is what I love to do. Um, I dream to be at, uh, at these moments, and the time has finally come. So uh, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I think a lot for this. I think a lot for everything. Because uh, this is all the dream come true for me. You mentioned there obviously about thanking Allah. Um, he's made a lot of comments about sort of your religion. He did make a lot of, a few comments for. How disrespectful did, did you find those sort of comments that he was making? Yeah, I mean he's disrespectful, but they are disrespectful when they, when, 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 I'm, when they fight me. So it is what it is. It's nothing new for me. I'm gonna go in there and be professional like I am and, and do what I gotta do. I mean, Oscar De La is convinced that what happened yesterday at the Empire State Building shows you you having kind of Brian underneath your skin. What are your thoughts on that? Has Brian frustrated you in the build call? We gotta see. Tune in Saturday. How do you envisage this fight playing now? He's adamant he's gonna find that knockout shot. How do you envisage it? Um, we know we know Ryan can get very anxious make mistakes and uh, I will make him pay for his mistakes that he makes. Are you are you surprised at all reaching this point that the fights are going ahead? There's been a lot of talk about Ryan's mental health in the build up. No, I knew the fight was going to happen. Bro. This whole time I knew that me and Ryan was going to fight. Has it been a distraction for you? No, of course not. You know, this is my job. This is what I do. This is what I love to do. So I make focus. I just stay in focus. I can care less about whatever he does, whatever Ryan does, or any one of my opponents in the future. I put the hard work in, I did the hard discipline, and uh, now the time is finally come for me to show it. Alright, without all the outside antics from Brian Garcia, do you want to punish him or do you want to bring him into the